Hey students, in this video, I'm going to explain how to write an equation, but also how to use your calculator just to, you know, use the answer choices you're given and get the correct answer. So I'm going to start with just uh, first the calculator um, so you can look at your answer choices and see how they can match. Uh, we need to look for an answer choice that opens down. So this can help you eliminate answer choices. If it opens down, we talked about an, an equation, whether you have standard or a vertex form or intercept form. All of these have the letter A in front. And if it opens down, this letter A has to be negative. So right away, we know that if it opens down, it has to be negative, and only the first, third, and fourth have that negative going. Um, they all have negative one half. So the the real question here is about that five and that seven. How to put that five and seven into your equation? Um, five and seven come from using vertex form. So we're gonna ignore the other two. And H and K are used here. And if you recall vertex is always going to be hk. So if you're given the vertex of 5, negative 7, that's your h, that's your k. And we're going to substitute that 5 in here and that negative 7 in here. So we already know a is negative 1 half. We know that. Now we're going to have x minus your h value, so that's 5, and then your k value, minus 7. So this is going to be y equals negative 1 half x minus 7, I mean x minus 5 minus 7. So minus 5 is the top one and minus 7. So definitely the top one is the answer. Worst case scenario, you don't remember just how to interpret this. Please, please, please grab your calculator and uh, just graph it. So I'm going to just show you here if we graph it, how it looks like. We're going to have the first one, so it's negative one half parentheses x minus five squared minus seven and it doesn't show but it, you know you graphed it so zoom out there it is it's in there so that one's definitely face down and then you need to check that it matches the vertex the vertex of five negative seven so we're going to go to menu trace graph trace and then go to that vertex right there it will tell you maximum or minimum. So right here, the vertex is 5, negative 7. And then um, we're going to check that it opens down. It does. And then as far as congruent to this other equation, again, you just kind of want to think of what congruent means. Congruent means the same. So we're looking for an equation that has the same. Well, definitely the one half is there. So that's what the one half does. It just shows you how wide or narrow this graph is going to be. And as you notice in the answer choices, all of them had that one half. So that was not a tricky part right there. It was more about the H and K. Okay, so just um, if you want to check the other answer choices here, go for it. But they're all wrong if you analyze the vertex. Okay, I hope this video helps you.